You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Welcome, I'm Spaghetti King, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on uh, that one video by uh, UBVA. She came out with another waifu video today, so maybe the Yandere waifu is uh, you know what's in the midst of developing. Uh, but in the case of it, I saw this video, and I thought uh, this was an interesting premise, and I thought it was a... Uh, what would be the word? I could say fitting, but deserving, uh, maybe, maybe more my term. You know, basically what happens is you have uh, this wife of yours, and she starts off with this, you know, great monologue where she says, uh, you know, I would never cheat on you or divorce you or anything like that. I love you so much, all this. And, you know, then basically she has to, like, lock you up because you've been watching, like, lewd ASMR, basically. And it's almost somewhat of a validation for me or something like that. It's almost something like, oh, well, you know, hey, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I said some things and, well, you know, I don't know about that. But, uh, you know, in the case of it, it, it is one that maybe would make you feel like a tad uncomfortable. But, uh, you know, in the end, I think, uh, you know, that jealousy element, uh, you know, these things going on, I think it was uh, deserving. I think it was appropriate. I think it was a uh, great audio overall. I thought it was very enjoyable. Watched it, uh, you know, a little bit of a while ago, but uh, I thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm not. I don't think I'll review it as as of now. But uh, you know, I, I thought that uh, the concept was uh, you know worth mentioning. It was a bit of a it was a bit of a slight on uh, everything we see, uh, you know, going on there. So. And I, you know, the, the moment I talked about this, I, I was I knew inevitably I was going to go into it, but, uh, yeah, honestly, I'm not really a fan of, you know, watching pornography or watching Lude ASMR, you know, if you have a girlfriend or anything like that. I don't have a girlfriend, so I watch ASMR. I don't watch Lude ASMR, but I do watch ASMR. And, uh, yeah, um, I don't... I don't uh, think it's appropriate or responsible for you to partake in uh, that stuff. Uh, you know, if you have a girlfriend, you're responsible to her. And granted, you're not responsible to her in that way. That's until you're married. You're married, and then you're responsible in that way. And then you go and you do your things. Hopefully, uh, moral things there as well. But, uh, you know, in the case of it, yeah. Honestly, if it's like, hey, you're with your girlfriend here, and she's like, hey, why are you watching the equivalent of pornography? And you're like... What is there to say? What is there to say other than, the, you know, like, uh, mm, yeah. Are you loyal? Are you, um, hey, chum, are you loyal? Mm, 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 you know, you, you would struggle to say it. And I know people are more, like, they have lower standards now, but personally, I think that, like, it's just shameful to, like, watch pornography while you would, like, have a girlfriend or whatnot, and then you're declaring that you have no loyalty, in essence. So, you know, so you're, that's what you're declaring. You're saying that. And I don't. I, I think women who aren't comfortable with putting up with that is a completely appropriate response from them. I think if women say, uh, uh, no, uh, no thanks, I'm not going to put up with that, I think that's fine. Because why should they? Why should, why, should, why should they put up with that? Why should they have some anxiety that you are looking at Lou naked pictures of other women behind their back and whatnot. Eh, pretty gross. Eh, excuse me, pretty gross. Eh, yeah, kind of gross. Kind of gross. Gross moment. Uh, I don't. I don't respect that. So in this case, uh, this audio, I don't know what uh, UB has to say on the subject, but uh, you know, I uh, think it's a personally deserved <laughs> response. I think it's. I think it's appropriate. And you know, in in, in this case, with your wife, I mean, you know. She does make mention of making love in this audio, so it's kind of there, but, you know. And she mentions that you, you know, the passion is going from you because of this lewd ASMR and whatnot, and that is an effect. And it needs to be talked about, it needs to be tackled, and it needs to be targeted, and, yeah, it's, it's a problem, and, yeah, I disapprove of it. And that's my full opinion on that. Now, you know, I don't know, some people might think that me watching ASMR in general was, like, immoral or something like that. Some people might think that. Maybe. I mean, again, I don't watch lewd things, I don't promote lewd content. But, 
some things I do watch do veer over a bit. That's why we have a wholesome raid, and that's why we have, you know, things we do. But, uh, you know, in the case of it, yeah. Um, I'll admit, I'll admit that it does have an effect. I'll admit that it does have an effect. And to be honest, if I did feel that ASMR led to me making immoral decisions, then I would, I would stop watching ASMR. I would. I do have an enjoyment of ASMR, but if I felt that it was taking me in a bad direction, morally, uh, you know, speaking with God and things like that, then I would drop it. I would. Um, I don't have that much of a personal attachment to it. Um, so I do understand the problems with that. I do understand people have problems in regards to that. And I do think that if it's causing a problem for you, and you're aware of that, then go away from it. When I first got into ASMR, it was mostly on more lewd channels like Tika Audio and Variana and whatnot. And eventually I had to say, no, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm going away. You know, and uh, around two months in, I stopped. I said, no, no. And it was only after I discovered, like, May and, like, Saturn and, like, more wholesome channels, kind of, that uh, I came back. And I started enjoying it more, but until then... You know, I was like, eh, no, I have to drop this, uh, honestly, and I went away from it. And I don't know if I'll go back there again, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the future looks like. But, uh, you know, in this case, I thought this was really an appropriate comment on the times and what people are going through and a response to it. So, just that as an issue. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. Say your response to that, say what you think about that, but uh, it is a problem, and it's an interesting subject, but uh, I'm Spaghetti King, uh, thank you for watching, I love you all, and farewell.